What's up guys, Pepe here, bringing you a video today of me doing some 2v2 on my Mistweaver Monk. Going to be a game against two mages, I'm playing with a hunter buddy of mine on Alliance side of course, because Shovel is an Alliance, just to keep that in mind guys. That is an instant drop down, I'm so scared. Basically the problem with this is, my hunter can drop in like two seconds, but that's the thing that can straight up happen. I'm going to put a dot on him immediately. I also gonna bubble him real quick because he's out there by himself. I don't want him to die at all. And he immediately kills a mage. That mage did not ice block. Not too sure what they're playing at. It's kind of strange, to be honest, why he didn't use any kind of block. I guess he's gonna kind of sit here and chill, I think, since he's absolutely fine. Put up a bit of a dot. Or hot, I should say. It's not a dot. What am I talking about? And just try and line of sight. Even the splits, I just want to line of sight and not get anything on me. See how well I can stay away from this uh, mage over here. And as a fucking monk, guys, I feel like you really have to use your um, use your line of sight to your advantage these days, because you will die in like two seconds. All right, guys, next game up is a uh, fucking paladin and a mage, which is uh, gonna be pretty interesting because it's a double healer combo. Something interesting to note, if it happens again here, was dampening started immediately. And it, yeah, it just did dampening starts immediately when you're versing a um what seems like a double hero combo so it's like me as a healer versus another healer dampening starts immediately which is pretty ama pretty amazing i'm not too sure why they're doing that it's kind of, it's kind of interesting 100 percent to uh, see what that like that little add-on that they've done there it's really cool nice blast back by my hunter buddy they're gonna put a must ma master kick as well as a fucking stun on him right there for some extra cc gonna detox my hunter buddy there trying to keep him alive if possible put down my uh thing right there Make sure to keep the stuff on top of him. I really don't want him to get fucking just destroyed by the mage. So that is an issue. Gonna get stunned. Retreat that immediately. Do not want anything to do with that stun. Do not get stunned into a, uh, into a bit of a fucking issue. They get into a sheep and then all of a sudden I'm CC spam for like 18 years. Not something I want to do. Gonna keep those heals up as well. Because he's gonna take a lot of damage. Gonna come over for a CC on the paladin if I can. There it is. Bit of a CC there just to try and help him out. And keep him alive. Gotta detox him here right now. Gotta keep those detoxes up, guys. If you're playing a heal, you really do not want to let your, your DPS be stuck in shit. They do run behind a box, I'm guessing, to heal up. They're probably gonna come out and try and get a CC on me, I'm assuming, because there hasn't really been much CC as of just now. Which is kind of weird, actually. I don't know why they're not doing more CCs. Something they definitely should be doing. Nice trap on the uh, priest right there. Gonna detox into a stun on Paladin. Into a kick, if I can. Actually, I missed the kick. I thought it would land up there, but it did not. And then start hitting my buddy again as much as I possibly can. Get, do get stunned, which I can trinket, so I'm going to do that right now. And just start doing some as much healing as possible. Wings is popped by the Paladin to heal up his mage buddy. Unfortunately for us, healing does do so much now that it's just kind of like... You do one heal and they're back to max in like two seconds, so... It's kind of just the way it works. Does The only time it's not worked is when I do it on myself, it seems like. That's, that's just the weird part, is when I try to heal myself and I get nothing. Like when you're versing a rogue and you're just trying to trying to get yourself back up to max and you're just not working out at all. And I'm getting last side of here, so I'm going to roll over and make sure to get that guy some heals. Make sure he's not going down at all. Keep up the detoxes and make sure he's not slowed down or anything like that if he needs to catch up. Give him a bit of a sprint as well. Nice blast back by him right there. Get to hot him up if I can. I'm going to come over for my stun right there. And 3, 2, 1, use my kick. There it is right there. And then roll away and try to get some heals back on my hunter buddy right now. And get him back up. There's the bubble from the Paladin, which is actually really good news. Bubble equals, you know, we've basically gotten rid of it, uh, essentially. So that's pretty good news for us. Also, something else I realized, guys, is the mana fucking is no longer a problem. Like, I have a manatee that I haven't used yet, simply because I don't need it. Like, it's just not something that I even need to use. It's kind of strange that that's, that's the case, but it absolutely is. And it's something that I've never really had to worry about as of right now. I'm going to stun this guy right here. He's actually immune. That's surprising to me that he's immune right now. But I can come over and get a kick from him in a second here. The mate is pretty low. He's playing a kind of safe game, trying not to get out of the side of his healer right now. Which means we can actually do a lot more damage to him since he's doing that. And I do have another stun coming up in approximately a uh, couple seconds. So I'm going to try and get a stun combo on him right now. There's one, three, two. Oh, my buddy's going down there. He's got a heal real quick, unfortunately. I'm going to make sure to keep him back up because that mage does do a lot of surprising damage. There's the stun on the paladin right there. They're going to roll away from the mage because I do not want to get sheeped. There he goes, trying to sheep me right there. Just got behind the box in time. And then we're going to just keep this up. Keep up the hots, keep up the stuff. Got to make sure not to get too comfortable because right there, that hunter buddy of mine almost got killed. It was actually really not really not good. Not something I want to let happen. Hopefully if he gets another trap combo like he did before, 
will be in good shape. We'll be in good shape. There's the knockback from his explosive trap. Something I really like doing. I don't know if it's actually viable for arenas whatsoever for a hunter. Uh, but it definitely seems like it's pretty decent. Gonna land a trap right there. I like that he's running close as well to land these. And that means I'm gonna hot him up real quick. Do some healing and then jump down and get the stun up immediately on this guy. Followed by the CC chain if I can. There we go. And roll away. Keep the healing up. Keep the healing up. And there is a dead mage. So it's still all about landing the CC chains, guys, it seems like. Uh, I haven't played a, a monk for a long time, but those CC chains definitely help out a lot. So it's something you really need to do still in these healing combos. Just something you really need to keep in mind. And obviously I could have been helping doing some DPS, but I pretty much forgot. I was too busy fucking focusing on not letting anyone die. But that was a good game. It was a good game. Alright guys, next up is a Disc Priest MM Hunter. So it's kind of a mirror combo, like Healer Hunter versus Healer Hunter, but I am of course a Misweaver Monk. I think Misweavers are a little bit less powerful, to be honest, than uh, Priests right now. Priests are definitely on the higher side for damage. Uh, Hunter gets popped down, so he merely goes back to not get seen. I'm going to have the pet on me, which is not a big deal. Pet damage isn't that much these days, so I should be absolutely fine. Uh, just got to make sure not to uh, take too much damage here if I can help it. My Hunter buddy's going to take some damage immediately. I'm going to try and stay in line of sight of him here. And I'm going to roll over away from this Hunter. I do not want to get any kind of CCs on me. He does start doing some damage to me immediately, which is not good. Because, of course, my own healing is really, really rough. I'm going to stand still and immediately start casting all kinds of shiz on me. And make sure to keep line of sighting that Hunter try and stay alive. Get over to this pole right now and start doing some absolute heals. And the priest is actually dead. My hunter somehow managing to kill that priest is actually really quite impressive. I'm gonna bubble myself right now and stay the fuck alive. I'm not even I was too busy paying attention to myself not dying that I don't even know how he just did that. I have no idea how he just killed that priest. Did that priest forget how to heal? Like what the what the fuck was that? Well I don't understand. I really do not understand what has happened. One thing I do like about priest healing obviously though is the fact that I can Heal through stuff. Gonna put a CC down on him right there. Make sure to keep healing myself up, of course. And I'm gonna try and see how much I can keep myself alive here while getting hit. And it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Not too bad. I'm surprised he killed that priest. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you're not here, I will see you in the next video.